righty, guys. Bottom left corner, Red Protoss. Yangwa. There he is, man, in all his beauty. Very far top right corner is going to be Vampire. As mentioned by uh, Kevin a little bit earlier, a little bit uh, underestimated. People think that, you know, he, he just floated under the radar for a while, but it's really strong in PvP. If he can get his PvZ up, he would be a Code S caliber Protoss player, in my opinion. Yep. I, I really think he would just wreck people. Okay, well, we'll see what uh, what they do in this game, and he may have the opportunity to do so. Don't forget, guys, even though this is our last game in this set, we still have two more sets for you today. We're going to go into Pet versus Tails right after this set, but we'll be following that up with the uh, winners of both of those sets then and see who actually wins uh, the IPL6 International Qualifier. Good matches for you guys, so coming up over the next couple of weeks, we'll, of course, be back into our normal rotation of everything from Fight Club to Premier Division and Contender Division of IPTL to more qualifier action. Um, and then the week after that, we are, of course, going to be in beautiful Las Vegas for our four-player $10,000 tournament. 2013 has begun, yes, essentially. It has. So much stuff. Uh, Creator versus Gumio, I believe, is actually our Fight Club. If I remember yes, correctly. you are so correct. That will be super sick. Uh, first off, his creator is has awareness out the rear, man. He sees everything going on on the map, and Gumio likes to be all over the map. So <laughs> it's going to be really good. It really is a clash of styles. It's a good point, though, because Creator kind of rose to success on playing very defensive PvT. Um, let's get double forges, prioritize super fast upgrades, get a third base, attack with three colossi, that kind of a thing, yeah. you know? But Gumi, and, 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 the ba and the thing that he always did especially well was that even though he was short on units, he had packs of stalkers everywhere, never died to drops, always had perfect awareness. But Gumiho is uh, has always been that kind of guy who's like, how many packs of stalkers do you have? Well, I have that many plus one drops yeah, ready yeah. for you. Yeah, I'm really ready for Gumio just to walk up and say, I will break you, man. Like, I <laughs> really feel like he's going to try and get this drop to happen. But uh, end of the game, of course, we have Yangwa versus Vampire, 1-1. One, one. We do have a probe. Being very sneaky here. Yeah, I, you know, Yonghua has actually gone for uh, Robo Forgate in both of the previous games. Now, different reasons for each and very different styles therein. But this could still be, if that stays hidden, a nice little Forgate inside of his opponent's base. That would be really fun. Daybreak does have a bigger main. Uh, for the most part, you usually put your pylons, one in the back, one in the top right, like we see from Vampire already. Mm -hmm. um, and that will allow that little space. It doesn't get covered a little oh. bit for about another minute, but... Oh, he's bringing another probe yeah, as well. Yeah, he is. Ooh, we're we're going to have a four gate. Uh, he's saving up a ton of Chrono Boost right now. He's sending a second probe so that it looks like, oh, hey, I'm just I'm just scouting your base. No big deal. Uh, what you got going on here? And then if the first probe would get found or dies, he can put pylons actually in multiple parts of the base uh, so that he ensures that something gets dropped down. Oh, let's see if he throws it away. Oh, and he's going to look around. It, it's, it always amazes me when players actually intentionally throw away their pros and yeah. then they just throw it up. Uh, <laughs> or anything. But it uh, looks like first Tucker is going to be on the way for Yangwe, so he'll start moving that across the middle of the map. Yeah. Uh, three gateways are well, two now. So there should be a third. I'm sure there is there going it to be is. a second. Kevin is a PvP expert, man. <laughs> dropping down these knowledge bombs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 70 Chrono Boost and he has a probe hitting his opponent's base. I call four gate. I will, most obvious call I've ever had. Hey, you're a baller in my book, man. Uh, we do have uh, the Stalker going to pop out in the natural. What is, oh my gosh, he's actually going to expand. Vampire is expanding behind this as oh well. Oh, God. Oh, fish sticks. This is really scary, actually. And he still doesn't see that probe. So this is very, very scary. That pylon's going to be started here in just a bit. Uh, facility on the way now, and that's not going to be enough to save him. Uh, pylon has now been created. This probe is so close. Oh, he actually has to cancel it and make another one to get the probe out. Yep. Uh, he puts the pylon down there in the bottom left corner so he can re reinforce that as natural if he needs to. Uh, but it would actually be better on this left side. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, he just hasn't seen it. The <laughs> gateways are warping in now. So, or, well, I mean, there's warp gate finished. Gateways are warping in at this moment. Then we're going to have a 5 minute and 40 second warp in inside of his opponent. On its base. Oh, it's about to get real up in here. We have Vampire poised outside he this still natural. Doesn't see. If, he, 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 if he warps in a sentry? Uh, oh. Okay, if he warps in a sentry and like, force field those units out. Okay, so the aggression is coming. We have four stalkers and two zealots against two sentries, one zealot, and one stalker. Numbers are not on Vampire's side no. here. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, this could be a very, very quick game. Yonghua's going to pull back. Uh, there is uh, an immortal on the way, but that's still, even with Chrono Boost, oh, another 40 not. seconds away before it actually gets done. Great surround. But there's no economy anymore for Vampire, and he's not going to be able to produce really anything else afterwards. Subsequent Warpins are still continuing to move in now for Yonghua, who is unfortunately supply blocked, and uh, will need to finish up another pylon before he can do anything. So that's really the only bit of miscontrol he's done. But Vampire 
He's down to 20 probes, and that's about it. Yeah, this is looking really, really bad for him. Vampire is kind of known for making some miracle defenses, though. We've seen him uh, when NC actually put on Cannon Rush him. He held it off amazingly. We'll see if this is happening, though. He's losing a lot of probes. Four more Zealots are being whooped in as well. Zealots are good against probes, and of course against mortals. They can get on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be done. All right, so that's it. GG. Young Hua takes the set 2 1. He'll be advancing into the finals to play the winner of Pet versus Tails, which is, of course, going to be our next set. The nature of PvP, man. I, yeah. I'm so glad that I don't play Protoss. I cannot handle that stuff. Watching replays and just throwing a fit after seeing that I missed a, a probe that was hitting the middle of my base for, what, six minutes? Uh, unfortunately, Vampire will fall out, fall out, but congratulations to Yangwa, man. Kevin calling it. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say anything, but uh, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> obvious from the outset. No, uh, actually, I'm just really happy for him. So uh, I would have been happy for Vampire, too, as I think he is still a criminally underrated player, and we'll certainly see more of him out in the future. For now, though, we're going to run to a commercial break. We're actually going to toss it to our daily news segment here. When we come back, we're going to have uh, our next set, which is going to be Pet versus Tails. Don't go anywhere. Adrian. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Adrian Harris with your IPL StarCraft 2 daily news for January 25th, 2013. Hots just get better and better. Play from replay feature has been implemented and it's currently live in the beta. But more news hit today, it looks like skins will be available for the races to give yourself a little flair as you climb the ladder. Here's hoping for some skin that makes Zerg larva look like gummy worms. Nom nom. There was quite a surprise in the land of GSL today as Boom Boom landed first in his group with a 2-0 score. Squirtle advanced in the second spot, while Hyun and Yoda fall out of code S. Currently, the race distribution stands at four Zergs, two Terrans, and two Protoss. OM3D finally made an official announcement and will be shutting down within a week. We'll see if Azubu can be worthy competition for the Twitch juggernaut. In team news, rumors are surfacing that Ragnarok may be landing a team. His Twitter has just changed to I am Ragnarok. Nothing official has been serviced, but stay tuned for an official statement as soon as we can get our hands on it. Last night in IPTL Contender Division, Complexity Gaming took a win over Root Gaming with a score of 5-3. Sasquatch landed a four kills in a row, closing out over the competition for Root. Check out the VODs over at youtube.com slash IGN Pro League. Tonight, Robin and Kevin will bring you the semifinals and finals of the IPL6 International Regional Qualifier. Players included are Vampire, Yonghua, Tails, and Pet. Should be a good one for your Protoss players out there. Check out IGN.com slash IPL for more content from us, GLHF.